It's been over 40 years since the 1980 presidential election, but the controversy surrounding the results of that race between Ronald Reagan and Jimmy Carter still lingered to this day. The October surprise conspiracy theory suggests that Ronald Reagan, with the help of members of his campaign team and the Iranian government, may have stolen the election from then-incumbent President Jimmy Carter. The theory goes like this. In the days leading up to the election, members of Reagan's campaign team reached out to the Iranian government, which was holding 52 American hostages at the time. The Reagan campaign then promised to provide weapons to Iran in exchange for delaying the release of the hostages until after the election. This seems far-fetched, but the hostages were released on the same day that Ronald Reagan was sworn into office, leading some to believe that a deal was struck. This theory seems to have been lended genuine credence from the supposed perpetrators themselves, as in a New York Times and subsequent PBS expose, Ben Barnes, a former congressman, admitted to having traveled to multiple Middle Eastern countries in the summer of 1980. Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Israel, alongside John Connolly, a former Secretary of the Treasury, to promote the candidacy of Ronald Reagan and pass on a secret message to the Iranians. That message asked the Iranians to continue the hostage crisis and to release nobody so long as Jimmy Carter was still president, as Reagan could, quote, get them a better deal. There have been several investigations into the matter over the years, with all exonerating Reagan. The Reagan administration was, however, proven to have been involved in a separate scandal known as the Iran-Contra affair, where senior officials were found to have sold weapons to the Iranian government with Reagan's knowledge in order to use the funds generated to support right-wing rebels in Central America. After Reagan's electoral victory, Connolly was also offered the position of Secretary of Energy, which he declined as he was instead hoping for Secretary of State or Defense. Ronald Reagan and his administration vehemently denied any involvement in an alleged deal with Iran. Reagan himself publicly condemned any attempt to interfere with the election. The apparent motivation for Ben Barnes coming forward now, over 40 years after the events of the hostage crisis unfolded, is in his own words, the news of Jimmy Carter going into hospice and him wanting to set the historical record straight. This does, however, leave the question of corroborating evidence. While the Middle East trip has been corroborated through diplomatic correspondence and other documents, few if any people who were in contact with Barnes and Connolly in the Middle East are still alive to confirm the content of any message passed on to the Iranians. Whether or not the October surprise theory is true, the 1980 presidential election was a turning point in American politics. Ronald Reagan's victory marked the beginning of a new era of conservative politics that would dominate American politics for decades to come, at least until this guy showed up.